All right, good morning everyone. Welcome to the play along video uh, for the Muffin Man this morning. Let's dive right into it with uh, looking at our music closely before we attempt the play along portion of this video. Uh, first of all, let's start over here. Uh, we have a time signature of 4-4. Four, four. You see we have it with the uh, treble clef measure and we have it with the bass clef measure. Those two uh, should always match in your music. Uh, and I would highly suggest that if you're just starting out, maybe just try uh, the right hand part, the upper uh, treble clef, before you begin adding in the left hand as well. Uh, it might help you to get a handle on your music a little bit faster. Uh, secondly, we have here one flat sign. We call this a key signature. And this is telling us that our music is in the key of F because the key of F contains one flat note, B flat. Uh, but thankfully, this is a great song for beginners because this particular piece of music doesn't happen to have any B flats in it. So you do not have to worry about using any black notes on your piano keyboard, and this should work just fine on a glockenspiel uh, in the key of C as well, because it will share the same notes. All right, back to our time signature here, 4-4. Four, four. This means that we are going to have four quarter note sized steady beats per measure. One, two, three, four. Remember the emphasis is always going to fall on the first beat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and so forth. This does not mean that there will be four quarter notes in every single measure. Remember, it just means that four quarter notes will fit in every single measure. Uh, you are going to have different sized notes in there so that we can create an intriguing melody. Do you know the Muffin Man? So we've got here, we have one, two quarter notes, and then we have a dotted quarter note right here, which is the size of one quarter note plus one eighth. And then we finish up the measure with an eighth note. So it sounds like this. Do you know the muffin? So you can hear it. that last note goes a lot quicker than the first two notes and especially that third note. Do you know? wait for it and then the muffin man adds a lot of interest to our song okay those are uh, the most important things let's check here for a couple other things that you might find confusing trying to play through this here at the very end <coughs> we end excuse me with a dotted half note he lives on Drury Lane rest Remember, this here is telling us that we need to rest for the length of one quarter note. He lives on Drury Lane, two, three, rest. Hear that? One, two, three, rest. Uh, you can't see my hand showing you to rest there. You'll just have to, to think through that on your own. Um, but I'll try to, to make it apparent in the play along. Okay, we don't have any repeat signs at the end. We don't have any repeat signs at the beginning. This is just a basic melody one time through. Um, so this is a great place to start. You can see up here on our little froggy meter, we have one little frog, meaning that this is one of the easiest songs in the Music Rainbow curriculum to learn. Um, remember, please don't attempt this on something like a guitar. Uh, or ukulele if you're first starting out. I would highly recommend that you use uh, handbells, that you use a glockenspiel, that you use a piano, and that you use an instrument that you can put those color-coded stickers on 
with. You will have this memorized very quickly um, for most of the students out there watching. Um, but please don't use memorization as an excuse to really think through your music before you try to play it because the only way you get better at understanding music, um, understanding music notation is to read it regularly. So take a look at this. Uh, a good exercise also might be to go through this uh, right hand treble clef here and just say the names of each note. C, F, F, G. Then maybe play them back to yourself. And then you can go ahead and move on to your second measure. A, F, F, E. And then maybe you can combine the two measures. Maybe then you can try to play all four measures. The mistake most people make when trying to learn music is doing too much, too fast, uh, before actually mastering a skill, they try to rush on to the next one, and that's when frustration happens, and that's when uh, discouragement happens. So similar to physical exercise, uh, you need to strengthen your muscles of understanding and mastery one measure at a time, then two measures at a time, before you move on and try to do too much. Okay? All right. Enjoy the play along, and have a lovely week.